<laughs> I'm hey. Reverend Dr. Alexis Felder, Hi. First Lady Hello. and Minister of Ministry Operations here at New Faith Baptist Church. Welcome to our COVID-19 pandemic Mythbusters Bible study. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 My dun, colleagues, dun. introduce yourselves. Go ahead, Doc. Well, Reverend Sellers Vines, Minister of Outreach, Missions, and Evangelism. Greg Powell, Minister of Pastoral Care. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he raises the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just bury him, that's all. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> no, you said Reverend Greg right Powell. No, 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 I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> we left off about Noah's sons because you were taking your son back to his great university. And we knew you would be angry with us if we went on without you. And we didn't want to mess it up either. <laughs> so we waited for you. Right. <laughs> we waited for it because we knew how you get, okay? Right, right. <laughs> would have been all mad about it. I know, I'm very temperamental. Oh my goodness. And the deal is we talk about this often. And so I wanted what we say in the, in the office when we're studying and we're challenging the word, I want what we say to be said on the Bible study. And that's why I wanted to wait for you because we've had this discussion recently. So let's yes, hit it. Yes, we have. I appreciate that. Hmm. Well, we love you in yeah, spite of what you think. I love y'all too. Oh, yeah, right. Man. Anyway. You don't love we don't us. We're going to get back to that later. Right. Okay. <laughs> Genesis 9. Cool, cool. Genesis. Read. Uh, uh, read. Uh, Genesis 10. <laughs> oh, we're at 10? I thought we, right. were, we were doing oh, no, Genesis 9, 18. 18. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, after all, see, how could you do this without me? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yes, we're glad you're Genesis here, though. Genesis 9. We're, we're oh. glad you're here. Yeah, Genesis so. 9, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. These were the three sons of Noah. From them came the people who were scattered over the earth. Yes. So, Noah had no daughters. He just had sons and daughter-in-laws. Mm -hmm. And these three guys did what? They are the father of what? Many nations? <laughs> of, 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 of the people who scattered over the earth, to quote mm -hmm. them. So in, in, in some, some regard, they're like the father of many nations, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. We were, last week, we were comparing the, the um, creation stories um, with Noah's story. So the thing that God said to Adam and Eve, he says to Noah, Mm -hmm. And and so yeah. we were make, making that comparison. So when I go into now Father of Many Nations and Abraham, you know, he's saying this basically to to Noah's sons that mm -hmm. you're to Noah, you're going to be the father of many nations, many nations because your son now goes and does what, Reverend Powell? Scatter yeah. their seed everywhere, yeah, everywhere, go he, he, he around the world and <laughs> multiply <laughs> and had fun doing it. Now that's Ooh, we we gonna get in trouble for that one. <laughs> <laughs> So they emerged from the catastrophe of the flood into a completely different environment. Yeah, yeah, a different reality. Yes, a reality. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 now uh, humanity is is commissioned, if you will, to mm -hmm. to establish all the things that we associate with civilization, with justice, with law, with nations. With uh, none of this happens until the the catastrophe of the flood. When he comes out, the God establishes an entirely new. Uh, you know, system, order, uh, the protocol. order, plan, protocol, process, journey uh, mm -hmm. with humanity, and commits God's self to traveling with us the entire way as 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 a as a human people populating the entire earth. And so, the table of nations come from Noah's sons. Ah, yeah, and 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 you know, as we talked about Genesis um, with with uh, the creation story with Genesis one, two, and three, this is not scientific. It's not a scientific treaty. Is that the word treaty? It's not a scientific journal. It is not a historical um, a, a, a story. It's not literal history. It is the story of how these people, the people of Israel, who have identified themselves as God's people and whom God has affirmed that identity 
and given a revelation of the oneness of God through them to the world. That's the plan, right? And it comes through Jesus. And, 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 and these people are locating themselves within, this, within God's plan and within the history of, of not only of, of, of their world, uh, but within the political dynamics that they were dealing with at that time. Uh, and so the point being that this is not the history of the entire world. This is not a world, they didn't know the history of the world. You know, they didn't know what was happening on the other side of the world. They didn't know what was happening in, in China. They didn't know what was happening in India. They didn't know what was happening in Mesoamerica. They didn't know- They just knew what was happening across the sand. They yeah. knew what was happening right where they got were mm -hmm. with their neighbor, with the people around them that they were contending with, fighting with, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and so that, and so you have, um, um, when you look at the table of nations, they all come down to basically the Canaanites, the, the Israelites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Philistines, the Adamites, the Aramaeans, and all of them but the Philistines are direct descendants of Abraham, to your point. Woo! Wow. You know, last week we were talking about um, why God gave Canaan to the Israelites. Mm. And the, the curse of Ham. And that's when we stop because we like, you know, let's let's wait for Greg because we know that he has so much more to add to this that to make the discussion even more richer. Yeah. But I said to revise that I believe that the reason why, because Canaan knew what to do with it. Whenever you give Canaan something, they create. And so even mm -hmm. what you see with the Tower of Babel, I said, whatever you give them, they create. And so you had Shem and Jephthah's kids coming out of slavery. They don't know what to do with anything. So mm -hmm. he takes... Now, this is the fulfillment of this, this curse. He takes their stuff and gives it to them. Mm -hmm. So now, because um, Ham's children created the land flowing with milk and honey. Right, right. That's right. 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 And Ham's descendants are the ones who created the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. Nimrod, right? Yeah. And so what I'm saying, black man and black woman. <laughs> well, that's the reason creators. why you are a threat to the, the world and all of society. Because whatever is given to you, they gave us chitlins and we made a delicacy out of it. Mm -hmm. And whatever they put in our hands, we have a tendency to maximize the edge. Good. Yeah. And that's the problem with the black man and woman. And that's why they're the enemy of, of the world. Because mm -hmm. of whatever they give us, they give us the least and we make it the most. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we make them want what we have when they know what it, what it came from, what the roots are. Mm -hmm. So that's all. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. This has been Miss Buff. <laughs> Miss Come on now. Come on, we can end this just right Just now. right there. Just <laughs> bam. Just <laughs> Miss Bam, you out of here. You know what? I'm coming back. And when I come back, I'm getting both of you. Okay. Right. <laughs> no, but you're, you know, the you're context, the right. yeah. context for that, that, that's what's, that makes what you said so, so, so sharp edged and, and, and vital is that that myth of Ham, the curse of Ham, was utilized as a justification and, right. you know, Old print justification uh, uh, in in this religion in America that that we see coming to its head in the, in, in, the, in the politics of this day and the so-called evangelicals this religion called whiteanity right ah, I saw that other language. but it was really whiteanity because yeah, it was yeah. all about making God white Christ white the religion of uh, uh, the, the religion the of standard Jesus, white the yeah. of Jesus pro white uh, only about white. Um, you know, the, to, to reaffirm this whole myth of, of race and, and whiteness, and that's a political reality to keep them in control, particularly the, the powerful few in control. And so, like many other things and like many other myths, like the myths of innate black criminality, like the myths of innate black inhumanity, like the, oh, like, the bell curve. <laughs> <laughs> the myth of the, the uh, pathologically angry black woman, the myth mm -hmm. And, and, you know, all the, the myths of the hypersexualized black woman, all of these myths, the curse of Ham was the religious version of that, the whiteanity version of that. That's mm -hmm. that, that because that, that Ham, black people came from Ham, see, okay. Okay, this is the history, black, huh? Okay, we listen. Black people came from Ham. Mm -hmm. And so since we want to make black people slaves, uh -huh, right. uh -huh, then it's because of the curse of Ham that we can make black people slaves and rape their women and brutalize and castrate their men and and and, and rape their men and uh, um, oppress them for 401 years right. right that because it's the curse of ham and right. see, we whoever who are now the new uh 
uh, Israelites mm -hmm, mm -hmm. suddenly become white. <laughs> Our actions are justified. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, you know, yeah. when you think about it, it's crazy. Yeah. And so is the justification of all this that's, that's been going on and that continues to go on. You know, we're here in the wake of Jacob Blake, uh, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, in the midst of what's in, in Kenosha, uh, your, your backyard, um, yeah. uh, your walkie folk. Um, Hell yeah, and every time we get a ticket, it's always in Kenosha. Kenosha. Yeah. <laughs> going going up to Milwaukee. That's right. Yeah, that's uh -huh. usually when I get stopped. This is around that's right. Kenosha. Yeah. yeah. And so so it's under and so if there is ever a myth that needed to be busted, it's this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that is true, mm -hmm. if the curse of Cam of Ham mm -hmm. is God's curse upon all black people, then God ain't very good at cursing. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at in chapter 10, who came out of Ham? Well, well, oh, well. Talk about oh, it. Let's see. Oh, oh, let's see. Let's <laughs> okay, descend of JP, whatever, whatever. Okay. Descendants of Ham. Hush. Oh. Egypt. Come on. <laughs> oh. uh, Canaan, you know, the mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. point that you just made, Dr. Alexis. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Nineveh, uh, you know. The, hey, we got rescued. Built by Nimrod, <laughs> the warrior. Nimrod. Uh, yeah, yeah, I Nimrod. mean, the greatest warrior of all that's time. Right. That's right. <laughs> I mean, and that's just a few, right? The point is, if if this was a curse on black people, God hmm. would be good at cursing. I would just say, well, we'll take it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, please, please curse us again. Yeah. Like, well, we'll curse right now. <laughs> if that's a curse, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And so we gotta, you know, we, let's get that out of our spirit and out of our head, out of our souls. Um, it's it's it like much of what we have adapted as Christianity, which is really whiteanity. Um, we need to root out of our understanding um, right. faith so that we can live it fully mm -hmm. and That's right. exercise its power. And some would say because you called it whiteanity that you are being racist or you are, are trying to stir the pot. But no, the society, the culture that identifies themselves with the savior is the dominant culture. Mm -hmm. Hence, the color change. There you go. There you go. So we did. We shouldn't have waited for you. Is that your me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give no, us some more. You know, it, it's I'm amazing listening. to me when they when they when they, when they, when, they, when, they, when that argument is made. You know that oh no, now you're being racist. It's like y'all the one that created this. Yeah. That's right. The entire yeah. thing. This is and you know, you're stuff. the only one that possesses the race card. <laughs> yeah. Because when you put it down, it stops everything. Well, y'all created the race game, and then you. Other people plan the race car because we stand up for ourselves against the game that you've created and try That's why we waited for you. Yeah. That's insane. That's right. That's why we waited. I'm for trying you. not to cuss, y'all. Well, pray for me. <laughs> you know what I want? Look, look at we live. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be yourself. Be quiet. <laughs> be, be careful what you ask for. No, don't do it. <laughs> Be free, be free. <laughs> no, come on, keep going, let's go. So All next, right. um, verse 20. Uh, verse 20, so Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded. And, and, and to the, the connection with Adam, man of the ground, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, you know, that, that, that relationship with humanity and the ground. So Noah, as the new Adam, as you all pointed out last week, um, came, who came, uh, where man of the soil proceeded to plant a vineyard. When he drank some of its wine, he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father's nakedness and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it across their shoulders. Then they walked in backward and covered their father's nakedness. Their faces were turned the other way so they would not see their father's nakedness. Okay. Go so, up there. Okay. Okay, so Noah. The sin of Noah, quote unquote. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the reason why Ham got in trouble, right? And so uh, now, so Ham being a middle child, <laughs> uh, you know, no offense, middle children, but middle child syndrome does exist for some. Mm -hmm. And so he's being a middle child here and feeling that the older brother and the old and the younger brother get all the attention. He decides to do what? Crack a joke on wise old dad. Uh-huh. And... Dun, 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 dun. Here it comes. The brothers, being their father's apparent favorites, 
<laughs> right, because the older one was there first and the younger one needs help. Mm-hmm. And so the middle one often doesn't understand that because they are like, but I need it all too. And if I'm not old enough to help, but and I'm not young enough to need help, then what's for me? Do, yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. yeah. And so that's the middle child syndrome. And so that's what I see with Ham. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I know I'm an only child. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm an expert on you sibling people. <laughs> anyway, but I do have a brother and he's quite wonderful. I love you, Damar. Or <laughs> Amuja. Because mm-hmm. he's Muslim now. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. isn't it Salam, funny? My brother. He's Muslim and I'm Christian. Yes, 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 yes. We wish everybody salam. <laughs> right, right. Know, that's Absolutely. right. Salam. 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 <laughs> that's right. Salam. That's right. Salam. So, yeah, come on. So, let's talk. Noah. Was Noah drinking before he got in the boat? I'm talking, was he drinking while he was building the boat or is this his first vineyard? Because, see, I'm thinking that Noah knew how to plant a vineyard. Mm-hmm. Oh, Yeah. So, so he had a pre-existing condition? Ah, perhaps. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Bible doesn't mention the foods they took on the boat, right? Right. Right, and we know they didn't have no agua. Uh-huh. Right, mm. they had no water. Yeah. yeah. Right. And part of what, what happens in, after the flood is that God opens up the, the dietary uh, restrictions from, from uh, was it first Genesis, where he's given, uh, humanity is given for plants to eat, mm-hmm. and now explicitly at least God has given humanity everything to eat mm-hmm. um, you know lamb chops and you know snake and you know and, and eel just, eel ooh, monkey yeah. glands come on um, I, you, you left me there I was with you I don't want to talk you, about it. you had monkey glands in South Africa oh, I, did, I did yeah Is it good yeah you <laughs> ate uh, oh, okay I didn't cool. eat it <laughs> I didn't know what gland it was okay <laughs> <laughs> you had monkey gland and you and Terry had monkey gland and eel. Oh, okay. You, mm-hmm. Sellers, you had barracuda. Yes, absolutely. And grass cutter. And grass cutter. Now, yeah. look up yeah. grass cutter people in Ghana. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say. It's a there. delicacy. It's a delicacy. Oh, yeah, you'd rather have chitlins. <laughs> yeah, it's a well, bush everything rat. I ate was good, so. Right, right. Praise right. Jehovah, they know how to cook. They are African. Real good. <laughs> so Noah, no, I'm just I'm just curious. I mean, he doesn't mention what he had, what it, what his because he was it was all about agriculture, agriculture. So mm-hmm. we, we don't know what kind of crop he had, and so I'm just assuming that he planted what he has had before. I mean, mm-hmm. the seeds have to come from somewhere. Right, 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 well, right. So, you know. so I was thinking, I'm thinking that you know, Noah had a little. <laughs> While he was building, I mean, hey, it is what it is. God yeah. uses your people. That's what we were talking about last week, Reverend Vines. We were talking about how the body, the body throws people away. Yeah. Mm. And God knew this incident right here was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I have a feeling that this isn't the first time that the boys had to cover their dad's nakedness because they knew exactly what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And who knows, maybe the reason they walked in backwards because the first time they walked in forward and they got whooped. I don't know. <laughs> Beat down. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that again. <laughs> right. I don't know. All I know right. is after Noah's had this amazing experience, he's drunk right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, after this amazing miracle, he's drunk. Yeah. yeah, I mean, may, maybe it was the, you know, this is a whole new experience, whole new world. Maybe this is the first time he planted this thing. He, you know, said, hey, mm, this is good. Let me make some juice out of this. Oh, juice. And then yeah. he set the sun too long. And he, do- oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel all like warm and fuzzy. <laughs> I'm going to drink some more. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> That's kind of right. cool. I, and next thing you know, he was laying naked. <laughs> I warned my daughter about college parties in Wapatui. I was like, I don't ah, care if it tastes mm. like punch. It ain't just punch. It ain't, yep. it has it ain't just yet. punch. It, it will just, whop you. It's <laughs> like it called Wapatui. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will whop it to you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what we and, called it in Platteville. Sorry. <laughs> and, and to your point, you know, that because like you said, church, we're so, we, we church dumb. Yeah. Um, you know, drawing his cues from white deanity, church dumb is so adept at, at canceling people out, cutting people out, excluding folk, you know, and, 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 and so, uh, you know, everybody talks about, you know, Noah's sin and, and, you know, and how, you know, and all of this and, 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 you know, look, 
you said it. God had a plan for Noah Period. that remained in place. That's right. As Noah was going through all his issues, whatever they were, whether it be the issue of uh, uh, alcoholism, a long-term alcoholism, or whatever mm-hmm. the issue of experimentation, <laughs> or that that went awry, whatever it was, God. Maybe there was some mental illness place. here. Yeah. Maybe there was some mental illness here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you. After all, this was a traumatic situation that they just yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Because I, I, I assume most people believe that you know that the animals didn't poop, <laughs> right? God, no God one peed, <laughs> right? You know, no one peed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the and they may have, and they may have. I don't know. Yeah. The point is, we don't know, and yeah. so what we shouldn't do is create something that we don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this so wasn't a animals, luxury cruise. Right. Animals no. usually poop. So assume they pooped on the boat. They poop whenever you put them on any cargo ship, any airplane. They, their body still continues to function as normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it was a lot going on in that. I mean, because, you know, we don't ever. Was Moses crying when he was on the Nile? Did she hear him crying? Hmm. Ah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, so since they both were in an ark, mm-hmm. so we can assume that in the midst of God's safekeeping and God's plans, it was still rough for Noah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And well, we don't often believe in the rough part of the safekeeping. Folk in, a, in, in our country are whining and losing their minds over wearing a freaking mask oh. and being able to go to the local bar. And being and being, we're quarantined in apartment, you know, with cable, <laughs> with Netflix. Oh my God, I'm losing, and and uh, refrigerators full of food. Oh my God, I'm and my lo- water's clean. Right, <laughs> right, clean, drinking clean water. water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, taking showers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're losing our mind. Oh my God, you know. Well, duh. Right. <laughs> this was, you know, maybe. So you're saying that maybe. With, and and this is and if you're an alcoholic, there's no situation where you can need a drink. But maybe dude needed a drink <laughs> after all that he did. Maybe. Well, maybe the pressure of everything <laughs> that was going on. Yeah. Um. Because now I've built this. I trust you. And I, whenever God sends you on a journey, you walk out by faith, not by sight. But along the way, you're like, whoa, the signs are confusing and the response to people are off. And but you sent me. So why is it opposition? And the waves are opposition. The wind is opposition. And so maybe it was just a lot of pressure. So when he comes out, here is the result of how he handled this whole new responsibility. I mean, have you ever been tired? Have you ever been sick of sick and tired of being tired? Enough is enough. Mm. You know, and so we we look at this like it's a lullaby and it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. I mean, if you've been on we were on a cruise, Jackie and I were on the cruise when Superstorm Sandy was coming. Mm-hmm. And we did make it to our last port. We were on a jazz jazz cruise. And we did make it to our last port because of Superstorm Sandy. They were trying to rush back. Because the outer bands, we were in the outer bands. Now, some people on the boat, just they potted until the boat got to dock. <laughs> Jackie and I, we had our passports and phones and Ziploc bags and stuffed in places. We had our gym shoes on mm-hmm. <laughs> and clothes, mm-hmm. laying on top of our beds, waiting right. for the alarm to go so we could evacuate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but people partied yeah. until the ship docked. Mm. People have different experiences, and but we were clearly in the midst of a storm, a super yeah. storm. Yeah, and we it was, and we were rocking, and I mean, oh, it was, it was incredible. Yeah. Mm. It was incredible, but people kept partying while others prepared for what could possibly be. Mm-hmm. And with, and that's what I see with Noah. I believe that Noah's experience, or maybe Noah just didn't eat before he drank, and you know how that goes. I ain't saying nothing though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus, that was all. You just helped yes. a whole lot of people. <laughs> you know, always eat you some fries or something, eat you some bread. <laughs> so, who knows? And if it was a new experience, it could have gotten it all wrong. So, um, I'm just saying. The bottom line is this. God knew it was going to happen, and he still chose Noah. Mm-hmm. So, if you are going through anything, any form of addiction, anything, 
anything, any employment, unemployment, anything you're going through, God has a plan in spite of what you're going through and what you're going through is a part of the plan. So hold on to his unchanging hand. I know I had to sound like my grandmama there, but it's a part of the plan. So don't let go. Don't let go. And Noah in his drunkenness didn't let go. And I, I think that's a big part of it, uh, uh, Dr. Lex, is I, and I think our disconnect from uh, from a violent situation is is always, I mean, there is a disconnect because we we don't trust God in the midst of it. We, we It's just sometimes it's hard, you know, to trust him in the midst of the storm, you know, sometimes, right. you know, because you're, because the uncertainty is just there, like you're saying. I mean, they didn't know. They were in a boat, you know, that has never been built before. With I've all never these built a boat. <laughs> I don't know if this thing going to stay together. With all these animals and all of this water. That's right. It used look, to be over there, and now we're in it. Right. We're night and day. Everywhere. Night and day. Night. That's no, right. that, that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit, you know, and, and, you, and you can easily lose heart in, in the midst of something like that. But uh, I that's guess right. the... The moral is, look, trust them in the midst of the storm. You know? Rest in the Lord with all thine heart and yeah. lean not to not your to own you. understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge it's him and he will direct your path. Direct your path. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. And in all things, yeah. especially in all in the midst of this storm and this flood yeah. uh, going through uh, in America yeah. and in yeah. our communities, um, in, the, in the flood of, of, of nonsense and madness and hate. Um, and then toxic uh, politics and everything else, to toxic spirituality going on uh, in our country. Uh, we got to be encouraged and we have to be determined uh, to be encouraged and to encourage ourselves in the Lord, to encourage ourselves in God's love and God's presence and in the fact that, that, that we can be human and we can, because we are, because God made us human. And so there is no um, faith test um, that says you must act and behave a certain way. There's a faith test that says you continue to believe and you continue to pursue and you continue to endure and you continue to bounce back when we, when we fall. That's the faith test. That's right. God's faith test. That's God's faith promise. It's our faith, te faith test as, because that's the test we have to meet to pursue God's plan for our lives and for, his, for redeeming his world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Question so no, though. Huh? What, what? Why do they call? What was? Was this a sin? Because the, because oh, I was about to ask that where God sin. said Noah, Noah, whoa, this is the Lord, Lord, Lord. You, what you drinking? Right, right. Sin. I don't see that in here. I know, but that's what we call it. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. we said he was drunk. Yeah. So he, he's in his new world and now he's planting these things. I'm thinking that he knows what a vineyard is because, well, Eden, I mean, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I'm sure he's not the creator of vineyards. Okay, I'm going to stretch on that and say that. Okay, so Noah has been here before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that. Okay, I will be the one who will take the hit and say Noah was drinking before. <laughs> Maybe it helped him receive that, that ark stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, Lord. <laughs> I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> and all I, I am sort of saved. Don't worry. <laughs> sort of. Like 64%. And so, <laughs> long as you're over 50, Greg. And so, it's a passing grade, I promise. So, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, though. He, he's not the creator of vineyards. Hmm. So, we put too much pressure on people and it's because we are trying to hide our own crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we have them looking at you, then they won't be looking at me. And that's how we like to do it with our, our, what is it? What did we say last week with our form of godliness and denying the power thereof? My goodness. Yeah. That's what we do. And so we throw people away because they have addictions because they do something that we deem not good or whitey anity has told us that is a sin because water still was contaminated mm -hmm. yeah they still wine was what was used mainly for everything mm -hmm. for all eating because it settled the stomach it killed parasites etc etc mm -hmm. so yeah i think he's still using medicine 
and wine in the in, 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 uh, metaphorically represented the blessings of God and, and prosperity. Abundance. Oh, so Moses was drunk in his abundance. Y'all don't want that. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see it another way. See it another way. <laughs> okay, I will leave. I, I'll, I'll come back off of that one. <laughs> just, just trying to see it as the people right. that saw it. Right, right. Because yeah. everything means something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything means something. Yeah. That's right. And so he he doesn't spend much time on it, but it does give us some indi indications about, you know, what ends up happening later on throughout the um, the narrative in Genesis and so forth about um, coming out of slavery with Egypt and all of that. So anyway, maybe I'm stretching it. You know, I will now. No, no. <laughs> well, verse 24. Yep, yes. Mm -hmm. um, when Noah woke from his wine and found out, and then we can circle back on all of this. When Noah woke from his wine and found out what his youngest son had done to him, he said, Cursed be Canaan, the lowest of slaves, will he be to his brothers. He also said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. May Canaan be the slave of Shem. May God extend the territory of Japheth, and Japheth live in the tents of Shem, and may Canaan be his slave. After the flood, Noah lived 350 years. Altogether, Noah lived 950 years, and then he died. So, so isn't mm -hmm. it interesting how he cursed his grandson and not his son? Why? Because his son is him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. No, no, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, his son is him. Yeah, he ain't cursing right. himself, but right. he don't curse uh -huh. what you create. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we curse our children, we curse ourselves. So, yeah. Ah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, the Funkadelic had a song back in the day, an album, I think, called America Eats Is Young. You know, America oh. children, because its children are a reflection of itself. Hmm. Well, you know, there's a there's a urban legend right now about Hollywood and them eating kids and sacrificing oh children and mm. adrenochrome and everybody's going to Ah, Hollywood is in uproar. We don't know Hollywood's not working. <laughs> Hollywood's not working. <laughs> Hollywood's not working. Yeah. Right. yeah well, so, well, you know yeah. the, the, the 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 sick politics of our country. You know, there's a whole conspiracy thing that that uh, your president is is uh, fully engaged in. Where oh uh, what? Hugh Hugh is a secret informant in the government that's unwilling. Q who's Q? Q. The movement is Q Anon, and he's a secret informant in the date that's uncovering secret plots to uh, what is it to um, uh, is eat babies or something like that. And uh, yes, that's it. The adrenaline. That's it. Radical uh, uh, devil worshippers who are kidnapping babies and eating them, carrying them to death. And then when their adrenaline is high, they drink their blood or some crap. Yeah. And Obama's in on it. And so is Biden. And it's in its orange. Uh, so is Black Lives Matter. And so are you. <laughs> I knew you were anonymous. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I knew you were anonymous. He comes out today, huh, out of all days. I knew you were him. <laughs> I knew you were him. I'm back now. Thank you. So the curse is to his grandson. It's strange that he would curse no, he wouldn't curse his own kid. He'd curse his grandkid. The grandkids. Why do that, Greg? Why do that, Sellers? I'm listening. <laughs> was, was, okay, was Canaan present? Was Canaan present? Was he a little boy walking with his dad and saw two? Oh, he's still laughing. I don't know. Math. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, it's yeah. an interesting question. Uh, well, I'm eating lunch. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can I ask some? Uh, it's an yeah. interesting question uh, that you know that 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 ham that that the curse would be. First of all, it's not God's curse. It's no curse. No, it's curse. Yeah. That plain, ah. you know, because it's been read as if that's God's curse, mm -hmm. and that's part of the whole myth of the curse of ham. That it was God that it was not God that cursed ham and Cain. It was Noah that cursed them. So okay. let that play, um, right. and 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 the, so here's the question: Hmm, they're writing these stories centuries later, this from oral tradition. Hmm, and um, Canaan 
is the promised land mm -hmm. that God has given them. Mm -hmm. And so they have designs on, uh, or, and, 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 and in later on, they're looking back on the history of their glorious moment when they conquered Canaan. And then that was the, the beginning of, the, of, of, of their brief walk in the sun before they messed it up and other invaders came and, mm -hmm. and weeping by the, by the rivers of Babylon. Right. Mm -hmm. um, could it be that they cursed Canaan because they wanted what Canaan had? Mm -hmm. So they wrote the, the the story was inflected in such a way as to give justification for them to take the land of Canaan. Hmm. Oh, like they did Hagar. Wow. Ah. And wow. made her a concubine or a slave instead of a wife. I mean, after all, Abraham. Where is your feet warmer? The one you spoon with at night. See, I did it real clean. Mm -hmm. what? <laughs> right. So if this Sarah's your sister, mm -hmm. then where is yours? Mm -hmm. And so he had to get one. And mm -hmm. I believe Pharaoh gave him his cousin, Hagar. Mm -hmm. But they changed the story to do what? Mm -hmm. To make them look like they were the winners and we are the losers. Indeed, mm. Mm. indeed, mm. and I suspect this story was told in the same with the same uh, motivation, which makes it no less important. But it helps us to understand how we read and how we engage the scripture, mm -hmm. you know, because we got this you, you know talk about a big myth that mm -hmm. that big myth that taken that that taken out of context, taken out of the what's that second. Timothy 3, 15, you know, all scripture is God inspired, <laughs> inspired, mm -hmm. uh, and somehow that becomes the Bible is the inerrant word of God. All right, now you're walking on a thin line, and, but uh, all yeah. scripture is inspired. Yeah. Yeah. It's from other sentences. <laughs> yeah. It's the inerrant part. Bring the clarity. Bring the clarity. Thank you. It's the other senses, okay? Because if it's oh, inerrant, the then the scribe becomes God. It's some other sentences that study to show thyself approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thank so, you. So, cursed by Cain. Canaan, right? So here, Ham is the father of Canaan. And Canaan, Ham is supposed to be the father of Africa, but really... Is he the father of Africa, or is he the father father of the the Middle East people? Uh, are we going to conclude them in Africa since they were connected before the Suez Canal? I'm just saying. I'm going to read that question. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that hmm. question. Hmm. You know, um, <laughs> one thing that John Henry Clark said uh, used to say um, about the Bible. He, he was mainly talking about the New Testament and Jesus, but it, it applies here as well. He said, if 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 you're looking for the white people in the Bible, um, look for the Greeks or the Romans. <laughs> no Greeks, mm -hmm. and there ain't no Romans, right. then they ain't there. <laughs> and I'm paraphrasing. Funny. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. This yeah. entire story is it's Africa in the sphere of African influence. That's right. Northern African influence, the culture that came up the Nile and, 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 and influenced the world. That's that, right. That's the sphere of influence that all of this is taking place. So we don't have to look hard for black folk. Mm -hmm. This book is about you. That's it's right. About you. That's right. I'm here all week. For people of color. That's right. Know, it's, 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 this is not a book about Europeans. It, 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 you know, and so how they've grafted themselves to make it only a book about them. Um, that's part of why, what, what harms, what makes religion so toxic uh -huh. uh, in this country. You know, mm -hmm. we could read it for what it is and then see ourselves in it, no matter what race uh, or quote unquote race, color, whatever nationality we are, then we could get to the truth and we could uh, use it. We could just, we could study to show ourselves a proof mm -hmm. and we could, uh, use it to, to, to uh, edify us and, and, and build us up for the works that God has offer all of us to do in redeeming this world. Yeah. yeah, we got to remember that uh, the Satan is the he's the father of lies, and this goes. What is his point. name again? He is the father of lies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and and when you tell a lie, <laughs> and when you t and when you're the father of lies, you can tell a lie that will last for thousands of years. Give birth to them, okay? <laughs> you know, and it remains a lie. You know, so this is what we have, and this is what we're dealing with. Yeah. Are we going into chapter ten? 
the table of nations quickly. The lady in, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are only, yeah. Makes sense. Okay, chapter 10, verse 1. Here, these are the descendants of Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Children were born to them after the, uh, ch uh, ch Shem, Ham, and Japheth, semicolon, children were born to them after the flood. The descendants of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, please don't think, please scholars out there know that I have no idea how to pronounce these <laughs> names. I'm just guessing them uh, properly. Um, Meshach, uh, Tyrus, the descendants of Gomar, Asher, Ashkenaz. Um, I wonder if that's a, the Ashkenazi. You know what, Greg, it is, but keep going. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you, sir. You to care, to, care to give us, give us a uh, now I think we'll we'll I think we all should get on that for a minute, you know, after okay. after a minute, but not now, but not no, now. No, come on, we're here now. What you doing? Yeah, ask what I ask. What was the what 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 was the? Well, I mean, the, um, I mean there are Ashkenazi Jews, Ashkenazi Jews, and and okay. and in the northern part of Russia, you know, uh, in the north the north mountains of Russia, it's it, they are the descendants of who he is which are now the ones that are proclaiming to be the uh, Jews that are currently occupying uh, Israel. So it kind of leads to uh, a lot of misinformation. So we'll go back to it. <laughs> I just think it's interesting that they have yeah. Nazi in the end of their name. Yeah, yeah. It's, did I say it again? It has Nazi in the end of the name. Yeah, it usually has an I in it. Yeah. Right? Huh? Isn't uh, it A S? Isn't it A S H K E N A Z I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's not Nazi internet. Okay, maybe I'll. No, maybe no. I'll not it. I, I think. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, these, well, this is what's really. These are the yeah. Slavic people, right? Yes. This. This is. This all. This is connected. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are the Slavic people. Look at Reba. So that's the first lady of the United States. <laughs> What, they got any strippers in here? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I'm going back to lunch. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hit pause. <laughs> just joking, y'all. Just joking. Just joking. She's every bit as intelligent and great and 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 uh, um, you know brilliant as uh, Michelle Obama, isn't she? Uh, the descendants of Javan, uh, 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 Elisha, Tashish, Kitam, Radaman. From these, the, the coastland people spread. These are the descendants of Japheth in their lands with their own language, by their families and their nations. The descendants of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. Let me know when you want me to stop. The descendants of Cush, Seba, uh, Havilah, Sa Sapta, Reyama, uh, Sab Sabrika. The descendants of Reyama, Sheba, and Dedan. Again, it's, these are so, you know, Sheba, the kingdom. Uh, Cush became the father of Nimrod, who was the first on earth to become a mighty warrior. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty um, hunter before the Lord. Of course, you know, he was cursed, of course. <laughs> the beginning of his kingdom was, was ba Babel, of course, from Babylon uh, uh, um, uh, de descends. Um, Eric. Akkad, all of them in the land of Shinar. From that land, he went to Assyria. And Don't you find it interesting that they only mention one son of Cush? Yeah. Hmm. Why? Why? They only mention Nimrod. Yeah, but then unlike all the other sons, you know, I mean, Nimrod, Nimrod takes all the space. <laughs> it's like, and then Nimrod did this. <laughs> He built a city. He was the greatest. Top of nobody else. No, no, no more space. He was strong and a mighty hunter. Right, right, right. I mean, it's like after that. Oh, it's and like, did we right. tell you he was strong and a mighty hunter? Right. It's like right. Right. enough of Nimrod already. He's Can't legend. He's legend. <laughs> okay, he's he's LeBron. Okay. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> perhaps. Um, where did we live off? Uh, the beginning of the uh, Babel. Uh, from Let's that start time. over. <laughs> sorry. Bad joke, bad joke, bad joke. <laughs> from that land, he went into Assyria and built, this is still Nimrod, and built Nineveh, Rahabothan, Rahabother, uh, Kela, um, and Reason between Nineveh and Kela. That is a great city. <laughs> Nimrod was a bad dude. Come yeah. on. 
<laughs> Egypt became the father of Ladum, of Ludum, um, Anamim, uh, Lehabim, Neph, Talim, uh, Path, Pathru, Pathrusim, um, Kasluhim, Kaphorim, from which the Philistines come. Um, that's interesting. Um, Canaan became, so. So Nimrod, in some ways, is like Samson. Yeah. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because yeah. he wasn't a mighty hunter of animals. He was a mighty hunter of men. He was a warrior. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So he's more mighty like Samson. Before the, a mighty hunter before the Lord. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. The name Nimrod itself mean, means what? Let us rebel? Really? I didn't know that. Wow. Look it up. Let us rebel. Wow. Mm hmm. Wow. Hmm. Um. Wow. He was a hunter of the sons of men. Hmm. He was a hunter of the sons of men. So wow. maybe he was a scalper. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Too much saw. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, is his name? Isn't that right? His name means "Let us rebel." Uh, I am looking it up. Yeah, same here. Just give me about him. Hold on. It's interesting that that in the English that name that name can be associated with uh you know with an insult with a you know, being an an idiot, which is really strange. I, I don't know if there's any relationship there. I don't think so. Well, I mean, outside of just not being a friend of God's, he uh. <laughs> He was quite crafty and brilliant, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah and I, I mean, and the Bible says he was a mighty hunter and uh, what does he call it? Before the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. Verse uh, 10, verse 9, he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. <laughs> yeah, so they said it twice. So they, they emphasize that. I mean, he builds the Tower of Babel and, and God says, if we don't confuse the language, they will build it to us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we know that this is more of a Greek pantheon kind of concept, but yes. So here it is. But I mean, that's what that's what the, the narrative says. Mm-hmm. So Nimrod was very effective at whatever he put his mind to. Mm. Indeed, indeed. He was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. <laughs> Canaan became the father of Sidon, the firstborn, and Heph and the Jebusites, and the Amorites, and the Gergesites, and the Hivites, the Archites, the, the, all these ites, the Sinites, and the Ad, Ad, Arvadites, and the Zemorites, and the Hamathites. Afterward, the families of the Canaanites spread abroad, and the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sidon in the direction of Jinar, as far as Gaza, in the direction of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeborim, as far as Lath, Latia. These are the descendants of Ham by their families, their languages, their lands, and their nations. And so, again, when we talk about the ites of the land, uh, you know, the, 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 the story is told in such a way. I and mean, remember, all of this is a people <laughs> telling their story, telling their story mm-hmm. in a God inspired manner, but telling their story and positioning them within their world, their historical world, their cult, their what, what their historical slash mythical world. And I mean, the two are, are in the ancient world, the two are not separate. Um, and in their contemporary world in relationship to the other descendants of Abraham that they had to contend with. And in the case of Canaan, that they dispossessed. Hmm. All right, keep reading. Keep reading, You're okay, Tishem, okay. also the father of all the children of Eber, the elder brother of Japheth, ch- uh, the children were born. The descendants of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arpashad, Lud, Aram, the descendants of Aram, Uz, uh, the birthplace of Abraham, right? Mm-hmm. Ether and, and Mash. Arpashad became the father of Shelah, and, and Shelah became the father of Eber. Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brothers, and that's, a, I have no, I don't think anybody has any idea what that means. No, none. It was Jokton. Jokton became the father of Al Madad, Shelef, I, I'm not going to attempt that one, Jeeth, Hadaram, uh, Yuzel, I'm going to be careful with this, this one, Dikla, <laughs> Obai, Abimiel, uh, Sheba. 
Ophir, Havilah, and Jobab, all these were descendants of Joktan. The territory in which they lived extended from the Misha in the direction of Sephar, Sephar, the hill country of the east. These are the descendants of Shem by their families, their language, their lands, and their nations. These are the families of Noah's sons, according to their genealogies and their nations. And from these, the nation spread abroad on the earth after the flood. Hmm. That's the end of chapter 10. All right. How interesting, these names. Because that Peglar means little brook or little river. Uh -huh. And then the next brother, Jokin, means a uh, <laughs> small dispute. <laughs> <laughs> Small claims court. I'm just kidding. Um, so, <laughs> I have an argument. Right, right. It means dispute. It does. So, anyway. Okay, so have we gone through the entire table of nations? Yes, we have. So, yeah. these are the families of the sons of Noah, according the to their generations? Of, the and families their of the sons of Noah. And how wow. populated the nation that Israel knew at the, at the, at the, at the, the nation that Israel, uh, the world that Israel knew. Hmm. Wow. So welcome. Now we're in the post-creation mode now. Right? Yeah. We're post-creation now for sure, because this is a second creation. Right. And everything flows. The rest of the story of Genesis and, and by extension, this, all of scripture, now for this. The creation is complete. So he used water the first time, a John the Baptist kind of a cleansing. Now it's time for blood. I know I stretched that, but it felt good to me. Well, you ain't the only one to stretch that, because uh, of course James Baldwin wrote wrote the famous and and very very cogent uh, book of the fire. Next time, can I read a quote from it, please? Darling, I know you're ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you probably knows about me. Just happened to have this laying around, you know. I'm sure you do. We're all ears. <laughs> James Baldwin, the the fire next time. If we, and now I mean the relatively conscious whites and the relatively conscious blacks who must, like lovers, insist on or create the consciousness of the others. Do not falter in our duty now. We may be able, handful that we are, to end the racial nightmare and achieve our country and change the history of the world. If we do not now dare everything, the fulfillment of that prophecy, recreated from the Bible and song by a slave, is upon us. God gave Noah the rainbow sign, no more water. Fire next time. Oh, we and you're gonna need blood to cleanse you. Come on, oh, my goodness. That's the mm -hmm. only way. Okay. Well, are there any questions you want to have um, elaborate on anything, darlings? Well, okay. just God's 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 plan goes forward in the midst of He He walks in the midst of humanity, um, empowering us and and guiding us. Uh, to to redeem ourselves and redeem our world, and um, it's up to us to 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 pursue the to, to pursue the path of peace and of justice. Okay, God will do it for us. He wants to do it through us. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take it back from you, but oh. I think we need to be clear on the fact that Noah didn't fall. No, we need to ki we need to kill that myth. Yeah. Noah didn't fall. No. There's no sin of Noah. No, there was no, there was, first of all, there was no law <laughs> Got nah, 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 for him to break nah, at this point. Okay. No Perry so, Mason. Okay. Yeah. It no was, Philip he, Marlowe. Okay. <laughs> God <laughs> never stops. Remember we talked about when, when God remembers, God never stopped remembering Noah. He never stopped blessing Noah. He didn't withdraw his covenant from Noah. He didn't, oh my God, now I got to add a clause against it. No. That, that, there was no fall. There was no sin. That's not what this story is about at all. Yeah, it's yeah. about how God's plan for humanity, as understood and experienced by the people of Israel, came forward through Noah, through the humanness of Noah and, and his family. Yeah, he was, the, he was the same Noah that caused God to recognize him in the first place. Hello, and I believe he had a vineyard then. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. And so have, if they do push have family you away... Issues. Yes, if they push you away because of what you do, no, God has not pushed you away. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes, I just dead. wanted to deal with that because everything talks about Noah's sin and Noah's fall. And I'm going, I don't see that. Noah had, yeah. he didn't eat before he had something to drink. It was hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and nowhere in scripture, by the way, mm -hmm. is 
wine, if you will, a de facto sin. You know, it says, it says don't be drunk with wine, be drunk with it's too much wine, it says. Too much wine, thank you. That's you what know, it says. At no point do these, do these, you know, wine or, you know, short dresses or makeup or, you know, whatever. You Nail know, polish. Mm-hmm. Nail polish, whatever. And nowhere is are these defined as not only categorically, categor- categorically as sin, but but principally, but but in terms of of the of the principle of it, are they sin? It's not about what we wear and what we put on and and what we eat and what we drink. It's about what we do and how we live and what we do for each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, did you go off like Man, that? So I'm, I'm, I'm glad no. because I think we we're not I think we're not done because we gotta give we have to fix Noah's story. We have to um, we have to free Noah from this condemnation that they've put on him. And honestly, Ham as well, because I mean, think about it now, what we know about the context of their, their culture at the time. Under, undergarments weren't a part of culture. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Right. Right, no, they didn't have Fruit of Balloons, guys, no Hanes, right, mm-hmm. right. One, number two, so if Noah is drinking and he lays down and takes a nap, is he going to snap with his clothes on? No, he slept in the buff. It is what it is. Right. Yeah. Clothes were not, clothes are a luxury. They're not, you know, we see it because we throw stuff away. We don't take tags off and leave it in the closet forever. But that's not this world. Mm-hmm. They don't have excess. That's right. hmm that's right. They don't have access. So him sleeping in the buff, that's common. Yeah. Even today, people, even today. <laughs> and then his son enters the room, you know, because they tried to connect it with a homosexual act. Right. And that's nowhere in the text. Right. It's, that's, why I went, it's, that's why I went on a limb to say middle child syndrome. Because there's nowhere in the text that it says that, but they try to teach Jewish uh, rabbis teach that there mm-hmm. may be some type of Noah's the severity of it is because Ham tried some homosexual act with his father. And I believe that's just another way to put a scarlet letter on the African. Mm-hmm. Because that just makes no sense. Because mm-hmm. yeah. that explanation is not supported in the Bible. No. That Ham tried to get with his daddy, with all of these women. And wasn't he married at this point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. He's married at this point, you know. So Why would he wait until after he gets off the boat to get with his daddy? Hello, let's do something different and new while we up in here. It's boring. Right? So So none of that makes sense. But I think the purpose of it is to scar, to further scar the African. The, the dark man so and to justify the 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 mistreatment of the african man and woman what yeah i mean it, it, it was it was uh, in a sense it was a double we're, we've been victimized by a double propaganda <laughs> you know it was the initial propaganda and i don't mean this in this sense i don't mean it in the negative sense every people have their own tell their own story their own way about their enemies their own, yeah and, and to reflect their own uh aspirations right right the story was we got to the current canaan has got to be cursed you know because we get in their land <laughs> that's that's in internal now you're getting you need their land mm-hmm. because you won't don't know how to do what they've done right and mm-hmm. when i give them something else they're gonna do exactly what they did here so i don't have to worry right. about them yeah. yeah and so if you could only extract ex, 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 take what they got and uh, and 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 while maintaining your fidelity to your god you gonna you got it because these folk have built a lot mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, unfortunately, right. they ran after their gods because you know they 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 were the gods of the land, and they couldn't they couldn't. I'm talking about the Israelites, mm-hmm. uh, couldn't uh, quite get over uh, the, the the religions of the people that that they were trying that they were contending with. But mm-hmm. that the point is that that's the story is shaped. The Canaan is cursed in order to justify the mm-hmm. in order to you know to give a rationale. For well, the caste system that the world has established for the color of people's skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and in their case, for the, the, the them going get the land that has been used to to reinforce the color caste system that happened thousands of years later. 
So oh. Another another myth is that he castrated his father. Now, uh -huh. that's some good uh -huh. wine if he slept through a castration. That's all I got to find. Right, right. That was I don't want to be that drunk. That's a good one. Uh, if you slept through a station. So we ain't going to go there because that was just a dumb one. And whoever put that one out, <laughs> it was sorry for their members. <laughs> well, where, that, where that came from, uh, because there's, you know, the scholarship without context is a, context. Is a thing. There's yeah. a, the, one of the words in the Hebrew um, that in, in that sentence, I don't remember which word, but it's the, somewhere, you know, when they saw the naked, I think the word translated as saw the nakedness of his father. Um, that that word in other contexts, that Hebrew word in other contexts, not in the Bible, but in other contexts, was used uh, to had a had a sexual connotation, and so based on that, <laughs> and that alone, wow. based on that and in, and in, interpose that into this text in which there is no sexuality in this text, no none, right. Ain't no, you know, no feet. sexual anything. Right, right. Ain't no you feet know. in here. Ain't no feet. Ain't no uncovering right, right, right. feet. You know, there's no uh, <laughs> that that uh, 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 mandrake. Ain't no mandrake in here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, some ancient rabbis also conjecture that the word nakedness implies that Ham had sexual relation with his with his mother, and his father saw it. I am just telling you what they said. I did my research on that. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave that one alone, too, because that was just dumb, right? Yeah, I mean, it's okay, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. So, in conclusion, what Greg said. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we love you, though. <laughs> Appreciate you, dog. <laughs> we love you, though. So I think that's you, a wrap. <laughs> hallelujah. If you want to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, we invite you to get connected with God. Let me tell you something. Be it Noah, Sellers, <laughs> Greg, or Alexis, <laughs> we know that God uses us yeah. in spite of us, and we are indeed thankful. And if you want to be available for God, God to use you in spite of you, then repeat this prayer after me. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> thank you for Jesus. Dear Jesus, come live in my heart. Be Lord of my life. I believe right now I am saved. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for forgiveness and thank you for my new beginning. Amen. Amen. Can I add one thing real quick to that? Amen. Yes. Can I add one thing real quick to that? Because uh, uh -huh. it, it's so true. But Can I we say amen? Amen. 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 <laughs> you know, I got to close the prayer. <laughs> But it just it just connected with Noah for me. So um, that God uses us. God uses if you are whatever situation you're in out there. God uses you, uses all of us, uses me in spite of us. But oh, not but and God uses us because of us. Aww, you're oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> and so the goal is. That to, to, to understand the value of the because of us, That's right. that we can work on this in spite of us. But mm. don't walk around this earth thinking that God only wants you in spite of you. God oh, it's not a negative spite. It's in spite yeah. of your mistakes, exactly. in spite of your sin. He and still a, wants to be with you. Yes. Right. And, and because of your possibilities. And because he knows you're in from the beginning. So just avail yourself to the master. That's right. Yeah. Anything else, guys? Same time next week. See you when we see you. Wash your hands, social distance, and wear your mask. Register to vote and do the census. And tell people that a non-vote is a vote. That's right. We love you. Love you. Love Bye you. <laughs>